Now, here on The Latest Show, we're all about introducing the brightest new comedians, and tonight we have one of my favourites. So please, make some noise for Jenny Collier, everybody! <laughs> to do a gig to actual human faces again. This is so lovely. Um, over lockdown, I did quite a few gigs on Zoom. And the very first one I did back in March last year, they hadn't really figured out how to run it yet. And the promoter put the password up on Twitter just like five minutes before the show. And we got inundated by just like dozens of strangers just... <laughs> just, just, just tossing off. I can't do it how they do it, but they were tossing off. <laughs> so this is already enchanting. Because no-one's got their dick out. <laughs> Yet. <laughs> but, um, it blew my mind that there were that many people just ready to go, just at the drop of a hat. I never knew there were that many people ready just any minute, all the time. We need to harness this power. OK, if we could harness this power, we wouldn't need fossil fuels. We wouldn't need wind farms. We wouldn't need fracking. Wouldn't that be a lovely legacy to come out of COVID with? Wank farms for the environment. <laughs> Instead, the only legacy we've got at the moment is just that we've all got slightly less of a gag reflex. <laughs> From the tests. <laughs> what did you think I meant? Rude. <laughs> but um, I had my lockdown in, uh, in North Wales, where I'm from. I'm from a little rural North Welsh village, which is called... Well, it's spelt Danielan, but it's pronounced fuck off back to England, yeah. <laughs> but I don't really sound very Welsh, but that's because my dad's English, so I'm kind of Welsh light. <laughs> Diet Welsh. I can't believe it's not English. <laughs> I'm diet wash, which means I enjoy the rugby, but I've never actually been in a sheep. <laughs> My mum's from, from Swansea, so she's got the lovely accent like that. And whenever she gets anything wrong, her accent just makes it all the more poetic. Right, so she's really supported me doing stand-up. She said, why do you want to get a video up on YouTube? <laughs> and you never know, it might go bacterial. <laughs> And my dad, right, he falls asleep just at the drop of a hat, right, and go to sleep whenever. My mum goes, oh, he's a bloody necrophiliac, him. <laughs> but my favourite one that she did, she went to an antiques fair with my sister, right, and she wanted to tell me it was a real treasure trove, a real little Aladdin's cave. But what she actually said was, oh, it was lovely. A proper little glory hole. <laughs> Grim. <laughs> But um, I've been trying to relearn a bit of the Welsh language um, while I was there over lockdown. Should I teach you some words that I learnt in Welsh? Yes. Panda mag. <laughs> That's pandemic. Pfizer um, Biontech. Other vaccines are available. <laughs> uh, a popular Welsh word is, uh, is actually microbe. Does anybody know what microbe is in Welsh? Yeah. It's poppity ping. That is microwave poppity ping, and a lot of people think that's because a microwave goes poppity ping, but it isn't. It actually translates literally as ping bakery. Oh. <laughs> that adorbs. Anybody know what jellyfish is in Welsh? This one's a bit rude, okay, brace yourselves. Sclevrod Moor translates literally as cunt of the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> it's beautiful language. <laughs> But um, back in London now, I, I had my lockdown in Wales, but I came back to London because that's where my vibrator is. But I think <laughs> everybody's getting quite, like, excited that we're all getting back to normal, hopefully. And um, I think everyone's got a little bit of a post-corona boner, right? <laughs> everyone's a bit excited. I think some people are a bit overexcited um, about getting let out, though, and I'll tell you um, why. So I was doing some gigs down in Brighton the other week. Uh, I was driving down, I was in the, on the motorway in stationary traffic, heat wave and I'm on my own and I'm in the middle lane there's a van in the fast lane with three men in the front and now ladies I don't know if you can verify this but sometimes if you're a lady on your own in a car and then there's three men in a van sometimes the men might be a little bit like oh, all right darling <laughs> like I can't do it how they do it but they do that right yeah yeah, yeah okay so we can we can agree that that's what happens um also the aircon is broken in my car so I was wearing a bikini <laughs> If I'm in any state of undress, I look just like... Like if Gollum forgot about the ring for, like, a week. <laughs> so there's, like, bones and rolls. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm small, but there's signs of binging. 
She likes her pies, but she's got worms. That's... <laughs> <laughs> That's the look. <laughs> If I was on Love Island, they'd say, she's got a heart of gold. That's, <laughs> that's the body I've got. But they were into it, um, these three men. And I don't know what the correct response is when they're like, hey, hey, all right, darling. Like, I don't know what the best thing to do is. For example, I was on Halston High Street a couple of weeks ago. I was walking along, minding my own business, and this guy goes, smile, darling, it might never happen. I thought, he's right, I need to cheer up. I'm walking along with a face like a slapped ass. So I cheer up a bit, and I'm laughing to myself about what a grumpy bitch I've just been. And I'm like, huh. And then I come around the corner, a different guy goes, what are you laughing at? So there's no <laughs> correct response. And so with these three guys, I don't know what they expect from me. Do they expect me to go full sex next services? <laughs> or if you don't say anything, or if you look kind of grumpy, then they might just be like, oh, stuck up bitch. So I was like, I don't know what to do, like, I'm, I can't go anywhere with stationary traffic, I'm already kind of embarrassed and flustered and hot. I'm just... I'm just going to do it back to them. <laughs> so I was like... <laughs> um, do you know what happens if you do that to them? They go straight into the back of the lorry in front of them. <laughs> <laughs> um, you've been lovely. I'm Jodie Colley. Thanks for having me back. Yes, please make some noise. Give it up to Jenny Collier, everybody. Yay!